After school ended today, I wanted to do what any teacher really wants to do, play with flying robots. I had a flying robot all ready to leave the classroom through the window. The mission? Land the robot on top of one of these two apartment buildings, visible here from the window of the classroom, and here on Google Maps. Everything was looking really good for the launch, until about 5.8 seconds. At this point, suddenly, we lost communication with the robot and we couldn't tell exactly what was going on with it after that point. So as you can see in this GeoGebra simulation, we can track the robot's location up until around 5.8 seconds, at which point it disappears. We received no more position information from the robot after this point. What I'd like to know, based on only the information available in this video and in the GeoGebra simulation, does the trajectory, that is the path that the robot was on, correctly bring it into the area of the apartment buildings. This would indicate that the navigation systems on the robot are working correctly. Assuming the robot does arrive in the general area of the target, at what time should it arrive based on the information that we have? In case the communication systems of the robot were the only things that went wrong, we want to know at what time should it have arrived, assuming that everything else on the robot was working correctly. And finally, how fast was the robot traveling during its flight? I'd like to know if it's possible to get this information based only on what you're given in the simulation and in the video. Even if the robot is broken, it would be good to get as much information as possible out of this data. You should be prepared to share anything you were able to figure out during the next class. Visit this website to download the GeoGebra file yourself. And most of all, have fun figuring it out.